I just finished this book, No One Is Talking About This by Patricia Lockwood, and I don't just review and recommend any book on this channel. I usually will make a video specifically about a book if it gave me a unique experience or it was something that I wanted to digest further and dissect a little bit in my head after reading. And this was definitely a book like that. It's just weird enough that I thought if I didn't script out my thoughts about it and the way it was formed immediately, then I would probably forget very quickly what it was like to read this book. It was a very odd and unique experience. I had no idea what this book was about going into it other than a woman on the internet, but it was a finalist for the Booker Prize and the Women's Prize for Fiction and the Center for Fiction First Novel Prize, and it was one of the New York Times 10 Best Books of the Year, so I thought I couldn't go wrong picking this one up. It also has an eye-catching cover and a very intriguing title. However, when I started to read this book, I was prepared to give it like a two or three stars out of five. I was not disliking the book, but I wasn't enjoying the book. And as I was reading, I found my attention drifting and thinking about people that I could give this book to instead of myself that might actually enjoy the experience of reading it. But by the end, it was a four or five star read for me, so let me explain to you why that is. This book is written in two parts. The entire first part of this book, it feels really disjointed. It's a bunch of seemingly random paragraphs of internet speak. If you're paying close attention, it seems to be written by a woman who is talking about her experiences in third person. She's a Twitter personality and basically she talks in memes from like five years ago that were only funny for like five seconds. And then she became this semi-celebrity when she posted a tweet that simply said, can a dog be twins? And it went viral for whatever reason. Now, I'm personally not on Twitter and I'm barely on the internet at all except for YouTube, so I did not know the referent for literally anything that she said. What I thought that she did well in the first part of the book is that she called the internet the portal with no exceptions, and I thought that it had this kind of Brechtian defamiliarizing effect where I was like removed from the internet enough to acknowledge its absurdity while still having that sort of like knowledge that we were talking about internet culture in my head so that I could have this kind of like social political analysis of the thought within the book. Ultimately though, I wasn't a fan of this writing style and I didn't understand why a book that couldn't be read outside of like America within a five or 10 year period and then understood still, would be nominated for prestigious international book awards. Then we get to the second part. The second part has a similar flow to the first part. It's pretty choppy, it's broken up into small sections, but the second part actually has a discernible plot. And I'm going to spoil that plot a little bit, so if you really don't want to have the plot spoiled, then you can skip off this video now. But before you go, I will say that the second half of the book is autofiction, so it's mostly a true-ish story that's already happened, so I don't consider this particularly spoiling the work. And secondly, I actually kind of wish that I knew what happened before diving into this book because it really is quite heavy, and I think I would have been able to take it in a bit better if I knew what was going to happen. I instead ended up getting a bit blindsided by the plot and crying my eyes out for the entire part two of this book, especially due to recent events in the States, which this was not a bad experience or a negative experience for me at all, but knowing the topic ahead of time probably would have made me appreciate the book more, not less, because I would have been prepared to experience it. So let me tell you about it. Have you seen Bo Burnham's brilliant Netflix special, Inside? And specifically, you know the song, White Woman's Instagram? The first half of that song is just a flow of random stuff that people mindlessly post on the internet, and then halfway through the screen, widens, and Bo shares the story of a girl whose mom has passed away. And it's this moment of raw personal grief in an otherwise endless stream of repetitive filtered falsehoods. This book is kind of like that song if, at that moment of grief, it had stayed in that feeling. And instead of mourning a mother's death, 
they were mourning a daughter's death from Proteus syndrome. In the second part of this book, the narrator's world goes offline with the birth of her niece. She no longer knows the witty thing to say or the image that encapsulates the moment so hard that her and her internet friends will want to inject it straight into their veins. The love and the fear and the grief of a mother, of a family, in a state where abortion and early induction are illegal, even when the mother's life is at risk, with Catholic grandparents and a grandchild with a rare disease most commonly known by the movie The Elephant Man. And this, all told by a woman who truly loves and appreciates the internet, the communal brain space, and gives talks about its style of discourse. I read part two of this book in a single afternoon. It was gripping, it was sad, hopeful, honest, and contemplative. I think I'll be thinking about this book for a long time to come, and if you want that experience too, you know a little bit better what you're getting yourself into. If you've read this book, let me know in the comments what you thought of it, because I can totally see both love and hate reactions to the style that this book is written in, and the unique reading experience that it offers, but for me it was totally worth it to shake up my reading life, learn more about something that truly more people should be talking about, and to think more deeply about how I personally use the internet. To give you just a quick example of the writing style in this book, I will give you a quote from page 86. And this touches on the themes of womanhood in this story. Modern womanhood was more about rubbing snail mucus on your face than she had thought it would be. But it had always been something, hadn't it? taking drops of arsenic, winding bandages around the feet, polishing your teeth with lead. It was so easy to believe you freely chose the paints, polishes, and waist trainers of your own time while looking back with tremendous pity to women of the past in their whale bones that you took the longest strides your body was capable of while women of the past limped forward on broken arches. Lockwood is also a poet and she has past poetry collections and a memoir that I am so excited to read now that I've finished No One Is Talking About This. If you've already read and enjoyed this book, I have two other recommendations for you. The first one touches on the themes of womanhood, motherhood, and grief, and it's another contemporary fiction book from the past few years that was nominated for the Women's Prize, and that is Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. I think if you like the super current nature of No One Is Talking talking about this and the kind of like funny reading experience while at the same time occasionally bursting into tears at the grief of the characters, then you will really like Detransition Baby. And if you liked the themes of internet discourse and the writing style that is telling a true story but defamiliarizes the reader from the real world of the internet by altering the names of internet things like Lockwood does with The Portal, then I think that you'll really like Uncanny Valley by Anne a whiner. This is strictly a memoir, but it almost feels like fiction because she has to change the names of pretty much everything involved in the story. And it's kind of her experience of working as a woman in Silicon Valley for different tech companies, but not being a techie herself when the Valley was really just starting to erupt with tech startups. I hope you enjoyed this review slash recommendation for No One Is Talking About This by Patricia Lockwood. And if that sounds interesting to you, I hope you pick this book up and then come back here and tell me in the comments what you thought about it. Did you love the writing style? Did you hate the writing style? Would you read more from this author? Let me know. I think I'm for sure gonna pick up Priestaddy, her memoir, and maybe I'll come back here and let you know what I thought of that.